Welcome to the Figure Zone. Today I've got another third party 1 6 scale preview video. Now, these are third party figures, which means the companies do not own the rights to produce these figures. They make them so they can make some cash, and we buy them because we want to help fill out our collections. Because sometimes the big 1 6 scale companies just don't get around to making these figures, or they make some sort of variation, and we want that variation. So, if you're cool with that, cool. Not cool with that, cool. I get lots of comments of where I get my figures from. I like to pre-order my figures from 16kit.com. If Kit doesn't have the particular figure I'm looking for, I use Giant Toy and TNS figures. All trusted sellers, great customer service, fast and free shipping. Check out their website links in the description below and tell them the Figure Zone sent you. First up from One Toys is the OT013 1/6 scale double champion fierce beast. Quarter three of 2022 and uh, 180 bucks. And this is Brock Lesnar. Now with this, you get a head sculpt. You get a World Box AT030 body. You get eight regular hands. It's got some trigger hands and stuff in case you want to have them in an action scene fighting, I guess. That's cool. You get four gloved hands. You get some bare feet. You get dress shoes and you get wrestling boots. Now you get his full suit outfit and his full signature wrestling outfit, which is his shirt and his shorts. You also get a WWE championship belt and a UFC championship belt. So you get some cool stuff with this guy. You get his signature looks and uh, I think they did a pretty good job. The body is interesting. There's not a seamless body in this one, but the world box bodies are here are really cool. So if you really wanted to, you could switch the thing out for a seamless body, but you do lose the tattoo details. So they did some great freaking work on the tattoos to match this stuff even the belts look pretty much just like the belts as far as i can see so yeah great job here one toys Here's some quick suit photos here to show you the detail these guys put into there. Look at those buttons and the pockets and the collars. They just did a great fracking job. They nailed this. If you're enjoying my third party preview videos and want to help out the channel, do me a favor, click that thumbs up button. It helps out the channel big time. What that does is an algorithm in the matrix sees the viewer interaction with my video and that gets my video recommended with more people so more collectors can see these awesome fracking figures and they can pre-order them. Thanks so much. Yeah, the detail here that One Toys has put into this figure look amazing. I mean, the shorts look just like the friggin' shorts. The shirt is pretty much identical to the shirt. It looks like you can probably switch out the feet, I'm assuming. So one's like a pair of dress shoes. One, you get the wrestling boots, and one is just a, some bare feet, pretty much. So I'm sure you can just pop those out and pop them back in. We won't really know until we get the figure, but that's what it looks like, so as far as I can tell. But yeah, switching out the body may be cool, like I say, but you're going to lose these tattoos that are on there. So you might just want to keep the body. And if you like him with a suit on, pop the suit on. So he looks pretty freaking sweet.
Next up from SoSo Toys is a SST-03816 scale Omnipotent Hero, quarter three of 2022 and uh, 180 bucks. And this is Omni-Man from the Invincible series. Now with this figure, you get the normal head sculpt, you get the angry face head sculpt, you get his body, six hands, you get two fists with that, two relaxed hands, you get one right hand holding the head of the flaxen leader, and a left hand with a baseball glove, in case you want to play some catch. And you also get the full outfit and a stern. Now this is a definite pre-order for me, and I'm hoping by this next picture here that we get a little bit of a preview going on. Maybe they're going to make Invincible also. There he is over there. Let's, uh, let's hope we get him, because sometimes having one character from the show is cool, but you want like an accompanying character with him and Invincible's kind of like the main character too. So definitely give us the Invincible character. One of the biggest things I love about this figure is the head sculpt. I love the realistic looking head sculpt. Of course, the cartoony ones are cool. It represents more of the comics slash cartoon going on there, but I just love the look of the realistic look. You can put him with your freaking Superman figures or your Justice League figures and, uh, He'll definitely fit in. Here's the head he's holding there, which looks pretty freaking cool with a flaxen leader. I think his name was Slash. I'm not totally sure. It's been a while since I've watched the show. But yeah, this looks pretty freaking sweet. Uh, the body, uh, I guess it's okay. It looks a little bit too small sometimes, but it's a possibility you can do like a body swap. The one thing I'd noticed too is the, the knees look a little weird. I don't know if it's just me. Like when that left knee there is bent, it looks like it's like missing half the knees. It's got that Harley Quinn kind of meat flap thing going on, maybe like reverse going upwards this time. Maybe it's just me, and it's a possibility there's only a single bend in the elbow joint there too, from the muscle hitting against there. But I'm totally still loving this figure. It's a possibility if you don't like the body, you can do a body swap, but it looks pretty beefy. And the material looks interesting too. So So Toys has been upping their material game there. And it looks like you could pretty much bend the crap out of this guy and you'll get some flappage going on. Then it'll just go back to normal. If not, I've always heard people taking a hairdryer to it just for a couple seconds. And uh, your material goes back to normal. So, totally loving on this freaking figure. He looks pretty freaking sweet. Now this isn't the first release of an Omni-Man. We've had G-Wiz Customs with theirs, which looks pretty fracking awesome. And SSR has theirs out also with, I believe, the M35 TV League Seamless Body. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these cool third-party 1-6 scale pre-orders. You do not want to miss some of these figures. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next video.